Hi, this is Brad Linder with Lilliputing, and this is the GPD Win, which is a little handheld game system running Windows 10 software and featuring an Intel Atom Cherry Trail processor, 4 gigs of RAM, 64 gigabytes of storage, and it sells for about $340. It was sent to me by GPD for testing purposes, and when it works, it's actually a pretty cool little device. You can check out my other longer video for a detailed look at, well, a semi-detailed overview of some of the games it can play and how it handles. And, uh, and so again, it's a pretty nifty little system. Uh, I did run into some difficulties when I was testing it though, and the keyboard stopped working. So the gaming buttons, the touch screen, everything else still worked. Even these buttons here on the side, including the power button were working, but the keyboard stopped working. So I tried all the software solutions I could think of, including going into the BIOS settings and couldn't figure out how to get it to work. So I decided to open up the case and see if there was a loose cable or something. Spoiler alert, I might've broken things even worse. These buttons don't work anymore. The power button doesn't work. Um, but my loss is your gain, and I'm going to be able to show you how to uh, what the what the device looks like on the inside. So that's the purpose of this video. So let's go ahead and shut down the computer, and then I'll show you how you open up the case and what's on the inside. So on the bottom, there's six tiny Phillips head screws holding things together. So a small screwdriver, you can undo those. And then it still takes a little bit of elbow grease to, uh, to actually get the case to open up. What you need to do is open the lid. And then what I found was the easiest was this guy here, the notification LED. You could sort of pry at that while holding down the bottom of the case. And then once you get a little bit of uh, room, you can reach in there with a plastic opening tool of some sort. and get at the latches. So you can see there's little latches uh, across the bottom that hold everything in place. Once that's done, you basically have two parts that are still holding the bottom to the top. One is this fan cable and the other is the power. And this guy that's dangling is the speaker. I'll show you why it's dangling in a moment. So let's go ahead and pull the power so we can get a better look at what's going on here. And that lets us sort of open up the case a little bit. And then I'll show you the area that I ran into trouble with, which is the speaker normally hangs out right here. If you undo the two screws holding the speaker in place, you get at this cable, which holds, which connects the, uh, the keyboard. And there's a little latch here, and that latch seems to have broken on me. So I don't know if it was broken before. Uh, I wasn't probably paying as close attention as I should have. Maybe I should have been videotaping so that I could go back and look. Um, but the long story short, now that latch doesn't want to hold closed anymore. So I can't get the, uh, the keyboard to reconnect. So it may or may not have been loose before. It's definitely loose now. And so none of the keyboard buttons work. Uh, as you saw, I can still turn the computer on. The way I do that is actually by connecting or disconnecting the battery. And then I can use the touch screen, so I can use Windows on screen keyboard, or I can connect a dongle if I wanted to use a uh, wired or a wireless uh, uh, keyboard and mouse. So the computer's still usable, it's just a little bit less portable at this point. So uh, it was a little bit broken, now it's more broken. <laughs> Anyways, let's take a uh, look at some of the, uh, the internals. We've got this fairly large battery here. It's a 6700 milliamp hour, 25.46 watt hour battery, and that's the cable that holds it in place. This here connects the uh, fan switch to the fan itself. So you can turn the fan on, low, or high. And I'm not gonna unplug that right now just because it doesn't really need to happen for the purposes of this. On the other side, if I lifted this off, you'd see uh, sort of the little buttons on the system board for the keyboard and other buttons, and then a little membrane that sort of holds them together. On the other side of these areas here are the touch pads. And then we've got the single speaker here and a fan. So what looks like speaker grills on either side of the case, this one's actually a vent. So there's a, on the bottom of the case, an intake. So the air comes in here and gets blown out that way. And it helps, helps keeps the system from overheating. Uh, again, you have manual controls over whether the fan's on, low or high. And then on this side here, we've got a uh, the speaker grill. If we flip it around and take a look at the other side, you can see the uh, headset jack, USB 3.0, micro SD card slot, mini HDMI, and USB type C connector. And that's where the power connects. And uh, that's sort of it for the, the basic tour. So again, if I uh, plug the power back in, it will turn the computer back on. Uh, it takes a moment or two to initialize, but uh, but that does seem to work. So um, yeah, I'll, I'll see if I can find a way to connect that keyboard back up again. But if you look, it's... Uh, Kind of difficult. 
and squeeze it into place, and then you try to get that to flip down, and then if you did, you could try putting the, this back in and holding it in place that way, but nothing I've done actually gets it to work. And it's a little hard to troubleshoot because the keyboard wasn't working before. So anyways, that's a quick look at the insides of the GPD Win, uh, which uh, I'm not entirely sure why my keyboard stopped working. Uh, I've read a number of reviews and reports from other users in, uh, in forums, and they've had some software glitches in terms of graphics drivers uh, from time to time. Most of those things seem fairly fixable. I may have messed things up more than I needed to by trying to do a hardware repair myself, which is a little beyond the scope of my expertise. Um, but again, at least now you get to see what it looks like under the hood. So uh, if I really wanted to, I could go ahead and sort of seal things back up here by snapping it back into place, putting the screws back in. But instead, I'm going to sort of set things apart in case I have time to uh, to try to reconnect that myself. Uh, so this is Brad Linder, the GPD Win. Look under the hood at the insides of this tiny $340 Windows 10 gaming computer.